inheritance in programming is incredibly important, mostly to save our own time. Now, we're going to start with a class. Let's say this class is to create a car. And let's say our car has some wheels, it has some doors, and it has a driver name. And then let's say I wanted to create another class that was for a truck. Well, I'd need wheels, doors, and a driver name. And as you can see, we've got some very similar properties. In fact, they're all the same. So if we were writing these separately, we'd have to write these bits of code twice, which is bad practice in programming. So this is where inheritance comes in. Inheritance allows us to use the properties of an existing class already. So if I had a base class called vehicle, I could have wheels, doors, and a driver name. And from that, I could create a car class which inherits from vehicle. And what does inherits mean? Well, it means that it gets all of these properties and methods immediately available to it. And that means we don't have to write these out again. So in my car, I would automatically have wheels, doors, and a driver name. And the additional thing about inheritance is that I can further give my car a whole bunch of other functions and properties that are specific just to cars, for example, and not to trucks. So a car might have, let's say, number of passengers. But I could also have a truck class. And if I just erase this, because we know what that is now. So I've got space to write my truck class. Here's my truck class. And the truck class would inherit from vehicle as well. And that means it would get wheels, doors, and a driver name. Plus, in my truck class, maybe I don't want the number of passengers. So I wouldn't write that in. Instead, I would say something like carried weight, how much stuff I can carry with my truck. So both of these items are vehicles. But at the point that they're a vehicle, they can then branch out into their own specialty, which is truck and car. And if you look at this in kind of a tree form, you can think of it a bit like evolution. So we have our vehicle, and our vehicle goes and splits into a car and a truck. And then if you wanted to keep doing this, it's perfectly fine. You can keep inheriting as much as you like. You can keep dividing things up. So a car could go into a sports car. It could go into a station wagon. And of course, a truck could go into a small truck. It could go into a large truck or an articulated lorry. And these can all split up into even more things. But everything, everything on this tree is going to inherit everything from vehicles. They will all have wheels, doors, and a driver name. So to summarize, inheritance allows you to inherit all of the properties, methods, functions, etc. from an existing class.